Drugs are in both county jail and prison, but there's one huge way they get into county way more than prison. The guards know about it, everyone knows about it, but it still can't really be stopped. County jail, how drugs get in, is a little bit different than prison. Uh, I've done other videos on this before, and uh, so if you want to know how drugs get into prison, I'll put the card up, check out that video. Um, I don't know what side, am I pointing to the right side? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, check out that video, but quick recap, inmate visits, mail and package system, uh, crooked guards, blackmailed guards, crooked civilian workers, blackmailed civilian workers, and like technology, drones, or like old school methods like catapults, literally catapulting tennis balls and stuff over the fence. That's how they get into prison. County jail is a little different. Um, at least like the county jail I was in, there is no outside. I was in there for a year, not, not a second outside. So tennis balls, drones is out of the question. And also with the drones, a lot of the county jails are in like crowded city areas, so it'd be hard to have a drone and not be noticed. So that's out. Mail and package, yes, but a lot of county jails don't really do packages because it's not a long-term facility. You know, you might be there for 30, 60 days. Prison guys are there for five years, 10 years, so their family can send them packages. So packages are out, mail, yeah, but they're getting better with the mail systems, both prison and jail. They usually copy your mail now and give it to you uh, so you don't get the original piece your family sent. So if somebody drip drugs on there, you're not getting it. Or other high tech facilities, they scan it and you get your mail on like a tablet screen. Uh, so you don't actually physically get a piece of paper at all. Uh, crooked blackmail guards, absolutely county jail. That's a big way of how drugs get in. What makes it a little bit different for me in county is in prison, the guards that brought it in, in my experience, were either a guard who knew an inmate very well like this guard worked that guy's unit for like 11 years and they just got a bond and knew each other so that or you know inmates are very convicts whatever you want to call them very cunning i know some guys who got dirt on certain guards they had their family they had their their boys on the street get dirt on a guard and then they basically went to the guard and said do this or that, or I'm gonna let everyone know what's going on. Crooked blackmailed civilian workers, not as much in county with like plumbers, construction workers and stuff. Um, there wasn't that many of them there, just cause the most of the facility is just one building or a couple buildings, uh, like prison, there's so much, it's vast, it was bigger. But yes, with this one with nurses, that's what I noticed. So county jail, you know, tons of nurses because there's guys coming in freaking throwing up, sick, detox, guys with, you know, uh, uh, medical conditions, this, and you know, girls, pregnant, everything. A lot of those nurses, you know, they're from the community. Like where I'm from, I'm in Rochester, New York. There's 50, 60 nurses at the jail. Somebody knows somebody. And I knew a couple guys, you know, one of the nurses was her cousin. Another guy knew a nurse that went to high school with. So they finagle them to do stuff. Um, but here's the biggest way drugs get into county jail. The number one biggest way, guys who know they're getting arrested or who stash it when they're getting arrested. This one's huge for county jail. Guys who are on parole, probation, whatever, they know they're screwing up. They know they're this close to being arrested, so they got a report for their parole date or whatever. They pack their they pack their butt with whatever they can, so that if they get violated and they get sent to jail that day, they're stocked up. Also, guys who are you know just hanging out, whatever. All of a sudden, uh, or they get pulled over. Cops pull them over. Cops bust in the door. They psh, jam it up there. They swallow it. They do whatever real quick to get rid of it or you know and then they get arrested two days later they poop it out or they pull it out and now they got all these drugs in jail and especially if they're a dealer most dealers that i know don't do the harder stuff 
you know, they smoke weed in K2, but so if they're selling coke or crack or heroin, they'll swallow it or jam it up. Then they get in a county jail. They got a bunch of it. And that's how they get, you know, their setup for when they first get in there. Everyone wants, you know, a nice pair of shoes, uh, uh, radio, food to eat well, in county jail, you know, girly mags if they're in there. So this guy's got five bags of dope. That's like $200 in there. Shoot, $200, you can get enough food, nice pair of shoes, a nice radio. You can be stocked up. There's guys that'll sell their soul for one of those bags of dope, especially somebody dope sick.